in downtown Los Angeles. I suppose Hollywood is maybe more accurate, but Los Angeles, right off of Fairfax. And I am doing something today that I have been waiting to do, and that is attend the Academy of Motion Pictures Museum. It's fairly new, and I say fairly new because even though it was built, there was a lot of issues surrounding it as far as getting in because of COVID. And so now they are open, they are accepting guests, and I made my reservation, which is one of the things I wanted to let you know. If you plan on coming to the museum, then you have to buy your tickets online and make your reservation in advance. So right off the bat, there's a little bit of planning that you need to do. Something else I want to let you know is that the parking around here is very expensive. You have two options that is listed on the website. Sorry, it's a little noisy. They're doing some digging over there at the La Brea Tar Pits, which is where I parked. But anyway, I'll get back to that. So one of the things that you can do is you can park at the LACMA parking, which is right next door, and that is $25 a day. Or you can park at the Peterson Museum, which is the car museum, and that's $19. And if you were planning on going to the car museum anyway, that's the best deal. So I actually went for a third option, which is a risk, which you're not always going to get. That is, I found street parking on 6th Street. So on one side of 6th Street, the side that is on the side where the tar pits and the museums are, it's metered. On the other side of the street, in front of the apartment buildings, it's free. Chances of getting that are slim, but I scored. Someone was leaving just as I rolled down the street. So I scored, which is great. It's good for four hours on the metered side, which I could have done, but I would have had to run back and put some money in the meter. You don't want to take a chance on getting a ticket in LA. You will get a ticket. So one more thing that I want to mention is that because there is a lot of walking involved, definitely wear good walking shoes. Wear something that you're comfortable in because you will be walking a lot. If you get here early and you want to go to the La Brea Tar Pits, which is behind me, where I parked out on that street, then definitely you will want to bring good walking shoes, perhaps a bottle of water, and some sort of covering because those dinosaurs were outside. So you're not going to have a lot of coverage while you're walking around looking at the different dinosaur exhibits. So a hat or an umbrella, something like that, will really serve you well. I should say, today there's not a lot of people, but because there's not a lot of people, they're doing a lot of their maintenance and construction. So that's what you're hearing in the background, by the way. So anyway, I'm going to get on over to the museum. Let's go check it out. So the first floor is where the museum gift shop is, as well as where you check in. There's a couple of restrooms. There are several stairs that if you don't do stairs, you might want to look around for the elevator that will take you to the different floors. to see here so there's no way I can show you everything but I am trying to give you sort of a broad look at everything the other thing I meant to mention is masks are required something
If you're a film noir fan, this next section will really give you a thrill. Everything about Psycho. They had the original casting call sheet, the script, the typewriter where the actual book was transferred over into a screenplay. This was really a fun one for me to see. How about Bruce Lee? Those of you who are film buffs, I'm telling you, there's something for everyone. Next come the major sound effects constructed. iconic costumes and faces can be found in this department. I could have spent a lot more time here. Really fascinating stuff.
foreign film exhibit was extensive and in some circumstances pretty shocking. So if you do visit, make sure you don't miss the foreign film department. Sit down and watch just for a few minutes. Let me know what you think if you do wind up going to see this. on the fifth floor they were having a special exhibit and as I had said earlier make sure you check out what's going on ahead of time so that you don't miss any exhibit that you would be especially excited to see. The museum is open Sunday through Thursday, 10 to 6, Fridays and Saturdays. It stays open until 8 p.m. Now remember, if you want to visit, you need to get online and make your timed entrance reservation in advance. Currently, the adult price for the museum is $25. Seniors are 19, college students 15, and under 17, well, they get in for free. So we end our tour today on the roof. This is the Dolby Family Terrace, and this can actually be rented out if you decide you want to have a really big shindig. You can get in touch with them and have an amazing view of the city and the surrounding areas. I'm looking over my shoulder, it's pretty spectacular. As I was saying before, the museum is pretty substantial. They cover everything when it comes to movie making and I would recommend you go online and see what exhibits they have that are special for that time whether it's a couple of months I know one ended on Doris Day right before I was uh, gonna come so I miss Doris Day but you can check online and see what their most recent special viewings are and then don't forget to wear a mask even though they are not requiring any documentation, they do have people positioned in every exhibit making sure that you keep your mask on. And don't forget those comfortable shoes because it's a lot of walking. It's five floors of exhibits and things to see. And now I am heading over for a special dinner at Fanny's, which is the Fanny Bryce restaurant that is here located on the first floor, I think. We'll have to go back and check that out. So let's go have a bite to eat. If you plan on having your meal at Fanny's, make sure you make a reservation in advance. The restaurant doesn't open until 5.30. And if you are there during the day and feel like you need a little something something, they do have a cafe that's open, serving more you know, light sandwiches, pastries, things like that, coffees, teas, even though they do have a cocktail bar, I'm not sure what time it opens. I do know that it was open the whole time that I was there. You could grab something and go outside and sit. And as you can see, they have quite a few things just to keep you from starving to death while you watch a movie. Speaking of starving to death, my meal was delicious. I was there by myself, sort of celebrating my birthday on my own. Otherwise, I probably would not have spent $30 on a burger. But as I said, it was delicious and it was actually more than I could eat. Yep, check out those prices. So be prepared if you're going for a special occasion. At least it was just me and not a party of five, right? Thanks for joining me this week as I went to the Academy Museum for the first time. 
lots of fun. And if you're a lover of movies like I am, you will enjoy this tremendously. Or if you just enjoy history. It's interesting, every floor has something unique to offer. And I think that just about everyone, especially anyone who is a film major or has been going to the movies for a long time, there's something here for you. I'll see you next week. Hope you're doing something fun. Take care.